Is this all the things we need when we're going camping these days? Maybe half of them, but we forgot the other half. Hi guys, I'm Cara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So the weather this weekend in Scotland is beautiful, forecast to be lovely the whole weekend and it's a holiday weekend so we've decided to come camping. Um, we thought that it was going to be super busy if we go up north with everyone doing staycations so we decided to come south to Galloway Forest Park which is super beautiful. We've been here quite a few times normally for kind of day trips um, but this time we're planning on being away for two nights doing some hiking, some walks um, and two nights of camping too. We just arrived at our first stop um, where we are going to have a little bit of a picnic and then go on our first hike and find somewhere to camp tonight, are we? Yeah. Are you so excited? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to sleep in our tent tonight. Yeah. yeah. And after the long drive we started with a picnic. What happened, Daddy? Oh, we fell. And I tried to catch Ben while we were crossing the river and then landed on my hands. And our stupid first aid box has no plasters. <laughs> I fell. You fell? Who else fell? Daddy. Daddy. And what happened? We had all the Oh, what did we have to do? We had to cross do you have plasters on your legs now? Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel better? Yeah. So that was a bit of an unfortunate start um, to our little holiday. We're going to go on a hike now. We're going on a wee hike. <laughs> Ganz zottelig! I think it's a Italian cow. Our first walk was a little loop at Cornish Hill, just near Stinker Bridge, which took us around two hours to do. It was a really nice easy walk because we didn't arrive until after lunchtime and it was also a really nice warm up for the weekend's walking adventures. Ben could walk a good bit of it himself and there was plenty for the two year olds to climb and discover. Und aus da wird mal die Beere draus. Wow. Wenn wir noch ein paar Wochen warten, da hängen wir, ist da alles voller Blaubeeren. Then it was time to go and find a campsite for the evening. We drove a little bit further towards where our hike would be the next day and we found this totally perfect little spot near our river. We pitched our amazing Vango tent and Ben just loves helping with pitching the tent and getting everything in the tent ready. Oh, thank you. Meine. Oh, is this deine easy mate? Super, we'll see you off. So this is Ben's new purchase, his new sleeping bag. It's a Nightstar Junior by Van Gogh. Um, it took us a while to find a sleeping bag that would really do what we wanted it to do. It goes down to kind of comfort of four degrees, um, which is really hard to find in a junior sleeping bag. But in Scotland in spring, it's definitely still pretty chilly. And we're really happy with this one. It does fit him really well and it will definitely, you know, grow with him. Then it was time to enjoy our lovely camping spot and barbecue. We did bring our own little grill with us, I will link it below um, in the description box because it means that we're not leaving behind any campfire circles and it's also a great little tip to pack things like food and dishes in little boxes like this when camping just so that there's easy access and easy storing. So we're making stick bread, we've got flour and we're going to add a little bit of water and Ben is going to mix, mix, mix. We've got a dough, we need to bring up a wee bit of salt. And then to make it like pizza, we need to add some cheese. Okay. 
to roll it into big, long, super thin sausage. Stick bread is an absolute favourite with wee ones and we just took our sausages frozen in the morning so that by the time we were barbecuing they had defrosted. Melting chocolate and bananas on the campfire is something else that Ben and I totally love to make and eat. Ben, is it bedtime? Yes. Yeah. yeah, where are we sleeping tonight? In bed. Oh, you're in your special sleeping bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is in Scotland it doesn't get dark until about 10, 11 o'clock in the summer so it's still very light and very sunny outside but we're going to try and go to bed. Do you want to say good night? Good night. Good night. So that was a bit of a disaster. We put Ben to bed about quarter to eight tonight. It is quarter to ten now and he has literally just fallen asleep. He was way too excited, way too overtired from the excitement of today. It was way too light for him to go to sleep. So we are now exhausted after that ordeal of trying to get Ben to bed. The midges are out, so we have some lovely midgy hoods we're gonna put on and sit out, have a little chat for about half an hour, and then I think we're gonna to head to bed too. The infamous midgy hood. <laughs> Good morning! The sun is out this morning! Did you have a good sleep in the tent, Ben? Yeah. Yeah. Coffee is on. Taking UHT milk is another great tip if you have a little milk lover like I do. It doesn't need to be refrigerated, obviously, until it's open. <laughs> Makeshift bib. A baby one not <laughs> baby Okay, when you're ready, I'll talk to you in the kitchen. Ben started his day with some relaxing morning yoga and then it was time to go hike. So at the start we just let Ben walk by himself, get lots of his energy out, explore. Of course that means that it goes far slower than it would if we just had Ben in the backpack. But it's really important to us that he also has a really good time. We're going to hike the Merrick today which is um, the kind of highest hill in this area. It's a Corbett. Um, so let's go! Our Osprey Poco Carrier, which I will link below for you, is amazing for longer walks like this to keep Ben both comfortable and safe. Its sunshade means that he doesn't need to wear a hat all the time, which is really useful with a little one on a sunny day. We decided to avoid the main path up the Merrick and walk through the valley instead. It was definitely the most beautiful option, but also definitely the boggiest and squelchiest option. There were several beautiful little lochs and we stopped for a picnic and some playtime. As we approached the summit it did get much colder so it's always important, especially when hiking with kids, to be prepared for all weathers and know your own limits and also your little one's limits. Picks are finished! <laughs> The summit was perfect for a two-year-old because it was so flat, which meant that we were comfortable letting Ben actually walk up to the cairn. Of course, there was chocolate for us all at the top and Ben was so excited to just run and explore as we headed back down the main path. His little walking shoes have been such a great buy. I picked them up in Decathlon and they were super reasonably priced. Again, I'll try and link them below for you. He finds them really comfortable and they are great for two-year-old adventures. I would highly recommend them. As 
usual, we swapped who was carrying Ben on the descent, and my knees got the lovely pleasure of the extra weight of Ben. It did also feel like such a long walk down. Ben though was pretty comfortable just chilling in the backpack, singing away to us, and he is really used to it now because he's been on the hills with us since he was about eight or nine months old. We were all so hungry after such a long day walking so we cooked dinner straight away before we reached the car again and the visitor centre had some perfect little picnic benches for this. So we ended up coming back to the same camping spot that we camped at last night. It was just really beautiful and when we were at the lock there were just so many people that we decided it would be a much more relaxing experience to come back here. Ben is already asleep but it did take another hour to get him to sleep tonight. Again just so excited by the concept of camping. So Thomas and I are just going to spend a little bit of time together now and then head to bed too because we are so exhausted. It was such a long day. We were about seven hours on the mountain. It is a five to six hour hike normally we have to add a few hours when we're hiking with Ben when he wants time to walk we've got to make lots of breaks for him and um, so it was really kind of on the maximum of what we're able to do at the moment with a two-year-old <laughs> So a little hack that we just discovered is for Ben's junior sleeping bag and that's to use a hair bubble on it. So on the first night Ben kept going a bit too far into the sleeping bag so by just putting the elastic around it it kept him at the top of the sleeping bag and in the right place. Another beautiful day and we had a breakfast in the sun of my granny's homemade banana loaf, some fruit and of course some coffee. And then we had the fun of packing up all our equipment again and we had our usual little helper. So that's us all packed up and we are now headed to find a little cafe to grab a coffee and then head into the beach. We headed through the forest park to the seaside town of Girvan which has a really nice little sandy beach. It was however just so windy. Ben was loving the play park there, it was right on the shore and had so much to explore. So that is us just home. It is so hot and we all really need a shower, but we've had a really lovely weekend. What are we going to do this afternoon, Ben? Boat. Where are you going to go now? To go our little swimming pool. Yeah, our neighbours have a swimming pool. So we're just going to head down and spring in the pool. And then I think we all need showers because we are all so incredibly sweaty. Thank you so much for watching today. If you do enjoy family outdoor adventures, then please have a think about hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a like if you enjoyed it. Super sorry for the appearance of us all right now, but hey, it's reality after a weekend of camping. Thanks very much, bye bye.